What is going on, guys? Kevin over at Legros from Bad Tree in another video today, and you read the title right. I paid over $200 for Lego instructions. What is it? <laughs> what is it? We're gonna do this a little bit later in the video, but holy cow, am I excited about this. Uh, terrified and excited, actually, I should say. Uh, <laughs> there's a little bit of, wait, why? Because, you know, books are, are books. <laughs> we have a whole bunch of little mini hauls we'll go through, and we'll get to that uh, fun stuff. Stores.ebay.com slash Legos, where you can find some of this stuff. Some of it's for my personal collection, because I started a kind of collecting. It's not really that healthy for me to collect things. It's a slippery slope. <laughs> Let's see what these ones are. They're both from my buddy Aaron over at Brick Scavenger uh, and his games on whatnot. I believe this is my villain. Look at this guy. Hold on. Let me get him ready. Let me get him ready. He did build a villain for a little while and uh, just to get rid of some spare parts. And I was like, yes, yes. Tell me what you guys think. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's flaming mine detector. Mine sweeper? Mine... Metal detector? Yeah, flaming metal detector. You heard that right. Hold on. Hold on. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. There he is. Flaming metal detector. <laughs> we got Captain Hook Legs. We got, uh, I'm trying to remember what that guy, that uh, Chima guy is, but that's the black bear. It's actually a pretty decent torso. Uh, we have Garmadon with sunglasses, the top hat, a raptor tail, and some dragon wings, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what you think about that villain. I think that's Tingworthy right there. I think that's Tingworthy right there. Let's see what else we got. Uh, this was from a game that I played uh, with him, so I got another one of those printed tiles. Uh, and I ended up picking just a Nebula, a Carmadon, and then we had the uh, I Tipsied <laughs> Tipsy Santa uh, tile, which is which is just going to go with my other tile uh, for the triathlon. I still got to get one for his uh, Top Gun game as well. I'll put that up there just so I remember where it is. Uh, those are just kind of meh. You know, that was just the entry to fee entry fee to play the game. <laughs> That's what that ended up being. Uh, these were, I think I paid uh, like, what, 35 bucks or something like that for these. Uh, this is just going to be a quick flip um, on my whatnot or on eBay. Uh, I usually get about 20 bucks a piece for these guys nowadays. So it's just a quick, easy kind of flip there. Four Kashyyyk Troopers, just a full battle pack full. Uh, of these guys, and hopefully all of their arms and everything like that are in good condition. Uh, this one was just a very small haul as well. Uh, let's see what it is. This one, oh yeah, this is just, I picked it up for, I think, 15 bucks, I think is what I ended up picking it, for, uh, picking it up for. Uh, let me hold on one second. My mom is calling me, of course. Uh, yeah, yeah, this one was, uh, I think, 15, 15 to 20 bucks or something like that. But uh, it is General Grievous. More importantly, though, he's got his cape. And look at this cape. Look at this cape. Oh, dear. Does not have the right legs, unfortunately, it appears. But I didn't really care. I have plenty of those. Uh, and the cape is the hard part to find. The legs actually are the second most expensive piece of him, which I found out. Um, but I do have some legs, so no worries there. Uh, General Grievous with cape. Fantastic. We'll just put him like that in all of his glory. I don't know why I have an old gray blaster there, but cool. <laughs> this one was a whole bunch of packaging. This was in another package, and there's just a cloth in here. I think 50 bucks is what I paid for this, which is kind of crazy. Uh, but there is a Rex pauldron. I've gotten a couple Rexes lately, and I needed some pauldrons because I, want, I like to make them complete. And this thing is just in fantastic condition. So had to pick that one up. Uh, Rex torso. We'll just leave that in the bag. This was from my buddy Lord Business over on Whatnot as well. Uh, I think I ended up paying like three bucks a night or something. And these are two fantastic minty clean Black Falcon Knights, which we will flip uh, over either on eBay or Whatnot as well. Uh, awesome. And then he gave me a free poly bag, which was a Speed Champions Lamborghini Huracan, apparently. Interesting. <laughs> I don't do any builds really, but uh, last thing, well, last thing before the uh, piece de resistance of this video, we did a uh, Bricklink order. I think she did two. I couldn't find the other one. Uh, this was from Mr. Bricktastic. Look at this packaging. Good Lord. So many promo materials. Like, that's next level. And then also we have the, uh, 
Also, we have like the, the tissue, like next level packaging. I, I ain't that good. <laughs> you, you guys, I'll pack it safely, but I ain't that professional. Custom boxes and everything, good Lord. Uh, what did I end up getting from him? It was just a BrickLink order, like I said. Uh, I'm gonna actually save this box for uh, shipping, even though I'm not mis Mr. Bricktastic. Uh, I, I might save it anyway. Uh, we ended up getting, I don't remember why I got these legs. That's interesting. Uh, but there was a, a torso there. We got some hats for Bespin guards. We got some uh, pilot hats. This was uh, only like 20 bucks still because it hadn't gone up in its price. I was selling these for 80. They've come down slightly since the little kind of craze. I think I sold two or three of them when they were like 80 bucks. Um, but this was like 20 bucks. So I was like, hey, heck yeah, I'll pick up the uh, Endor Rex. Uh, we got some hair pieces there, some blasters, some Asajj Ventress saber hilts. Uh, I always need these. We got some Sabine hairs, which was kind of interesting. Uh, we also got some regular blasters, and these things was what I think I came there for, uh, with some green ones. I was building a whole bunch of knights and uh, imperials and stuff like that, and I needed these ones. Uh, so that was the main reason. I think this, this was also a reason for going there. Uh, I saw that for cheap, and I was like, yes, yes, please, I'll take that. Uh, where did I put that other thing? There we go. There it is. All right. Are you ready to see what over $200 gets you in the Lego instruction manual world? Guesses? Put your guesses down below. No cheating. Put your guesses down below. What do you think it is? Oh, it's wrapped in paper. Hold on. This was the original buyer who had submitted this when they were a child Built it once and then kept it in a sleeve ever since. So I don't know if you're gonna find a better condition one of these. I'm trying not to find their address there. Uh, it's probably, you know, 30, 40, <laughs> 30 years old address anyways. Uh, unfortunately it was folded at one point, but you know, they were a child. So uh, look at that, 6862. If you guys didn't know, I'm into vintage stuff and this was an Mtron uh, kind of submission thing, I guess you could say. You had to write into Lego or fill out a form and they would send you this. Uh, and you combined three or four sets, I don't remember exactly how many it was, to make the supermodel uh, of the M John. It's like three sets combined. It, you know, the set itself is kind of interesting looking. It's not like the best set ever, but the rarity of this, because you had to mail in for this thing, and it's just an instruction book that a lot of people didn't end up keeping or anything to that effect after they built it, you know, as a child. These are so incredibly rare. Picked it up for a little over $200. The only one on Bricklink right now that has sold in the last six months in the entire world sold for $500. So I think I did pretty well. This thing is in mint, as mint as you can see condition for something so old that, you know, think about think about how safely Lego probably mailed this like 35 years ago, <laughs> whatever it ended up being. Uh, they probably did not mail it very safely. Uh, let's see, I can cover the address there. Uh, as you can see, it's addressed to somebody. I don't know, I should probably cover that up, but uh, just crazy. The build is actually really only like 18 steps, which is like the old, oh, there you go. So it's three sets, the vector detector, the celestial forager, and the particle ionizer combined to make this. Look at this thing. You might never see one of these in the history of the world in terms of like your collections. Like you, they, they come up so rarely, maybe once or twice a year uh, on the market. And this thing is just gorgeous. Like I said, there's that one fold down the middle, but other than that, uh, I don't even know why I'm touching it right now other than I am gonna build it, of course. <laughs> uh, once I have all of my themes on display, this will actually be probably framed. Uh, I, I think I'd probably have to frame it or something like that because uh, I wanna keep it nice and fresh and uh, I don't know what things will do to things. Uh, you know, open air and all that. Uh, 18 steps. Uh, obviously, there's staples in here too. So, uh, well, actually, it is bound, I guess. But that's always that always that stuff always comes loose and tears out and stuff like that. So I'm gonna touch it as little as possible. But look at that thing. Uh, <laughs> a lot of people don't get why that thing is valuable, uh, but it is so incredibly rare. Go look it up. Six eight six two. See if you can find one. I dare ya. Uh, but, uh, that hopefully you enjoyed that haul. Just a little something, uh, that I am really interested in the history, the lore of my favorite time period of Lego. Uh, and I'm definitely going to be collecting those things. Obviously we're trying to get everything all sealed. One new, or sorry, one, uh, used with nice box that I can put on display. 
uh, and then eventually once the Lego room's all built up, we will have space to display all of that. But hopefully you guys had fun. Uh, hopefully you liked my villain. Comment below, 1 to 10 rating on the villain. <laughs> Look at that guy. Look at that guy. He's a villain, all right. Uh, <laughs> or comment below what his name is. I don't know what his name is. All right, love you guys. Thank you very much for tuning in, and I'll catch you on the next one.